Hey, good morning guys. Coming back to you here with an update from the Old Barn Homestead. My name is Gary. Hope everybody's doing great on this Sunday. We got some beautiful weather in Dallas. I'm sure it's getting nice weather in lots of the country. Uh, hopefully you guys up north that got the snow are getting unburied out of that. But I just wanted to, on this video, say thank you to all the viewers and all the people out there that watch all my videos, whether it's the Turbo Cobra channel or this channel and um and just say thank you for your support and specifically thank you to uh people that have ordered things from me people that um have sent me uh various tools and gifts and so forth um i just can't, can't say thank you enough and how much it means to me and what a difference it makes here for what i'm trying to do so uh, Speaking of thank you gifts, you saw the ones we got the other day, the clamps from Ray at Clamps Plus, and the um, Reed Eichner sent this uh, scraping burr. You guys saw that a couple of videos ago. Uh, if I had a chance to use it, it's working great. Um, but yesterday I got in the mail a package here with uh, some tooling from Bill De La Vega, and I wanted to zoom in on that. And I also want to give a shout out to David. I showed in a video he's bought that Marine logo thing, but I think he's really going to be the first person that has placed an order for something that I don't even have for sale yet. Um, he saw those gussets, the web gussets, the Eco Mouse Design web gussets in a previous video and um, my last video and has already placed an order for I think three sets. He wanted two sets of the shelf brackets and one set of the paper towel holder brackets. So. Uh, we will keep refining that and get these made up and then uh, have them on the website for sale where people can buy them. But um, I want to show you what I got from Bill. And um, again, shout out to everybody out there to, that supports me, leaves the great comments, all the suggestions, the plumbing suggestions on the last video, every bit of it. No matter if you just watch and, and leave me a thumbs up or if you leave a comment and a good suggestion to people that have bought things from me or sent me things. It all helps and all means a lot. I really do appreciate it. Thank you guys. So let me take a look. Let me show you this. Uh, let's zoom in and take a look at this. All right, so Bill sent this uh, flat rate package in and uh, the thing you'll notice about it is he used, um, looks like half inch or 5 8 MDF to, uh, to package it. And um, the box, even though what's in it weighs a lot, it's really uh, stayed in, tacked and there's no issues at all with it but he sent us some tooling for the 50 taper horizontal spindle on the mill back there that we don't have working yet and I still need to get around to getting that going but uh, man he sent in a couple of really cool things um, the first thing here is a an end mill holder um, and again this is the 50 taper the larger heavy duty one and he sent in a an end mill that fits the holder i think these are inch and a quarter shanks on this um uh, not exactly sure i haven't measured this but this is a three flute end mill and it seems like it's got a regrind on it with um, a ball somewhat of a ball face um and i believe it's carbide it feels super heavy so um and you know it being three flute i'm guessing i could use that for aluminum or steel but um it fits down in there um so we'll have uh have that going for us and um the texas gun guy gave me some that are uh around this size as well i think this is an inch and a half and this is um let me just grab a caliper real quick all right so we'll show you the the shank yeah inch and a quarter on that and then this must be two inches here in diameter uh, we'll get a rough no inch and three quarters okay but still really cool and uh, both of these uh, look to be in really nice shape I mean almost barely used at all um, this one is really cool because it is a an adapter for R8 and um, so I can use all of my R8 collets in this big uh, tooling so that I can use all my smaller uh, end mills and so forth without having um, to buy an, you know, an end mill holder for every size that I need, you know, 
pretty much from seven eighths down to you know quarter inch, I could use this, and it's got a uh, an Allen key uh, draw bar in there uh, for the for the R8, and then uh, you get that drawn up in there, and then you put this in the draw bar for the the 50 taper catches that and pulls it up in the in the spindle bore. So um, and then he sent along some threaded rod. I don't know. It looks like maybe quarter twenty. Um, nice selection of that. I'm guessing he just had this laying around. Uh, I believe these he said that he had uh, in the shop there and uh, didn't have a use for them, and uh, so he sent those along. So and we actually worked out a little trade on this one. So I got to get together something and uh, send that back to him. So, but uh, thank you guys for that, um, or thanks Bill for that, I should say. And I'm really looking forward to getting the uh, spindle going on that mill. It's it's still when you power it on, it's you know the spindle brake is on and won't let it spin freely. And I honestly just haven't had uh, a chance to mess with it. Um, but I would like to get that thing running and you know chuck up one of those big uh, end mills and let it eat and see what it can do. But uh, I'll show you a little update outside here. The guy that did my driveway and stuff came by yesterday and. Um, brought his um his bobcat um he's got a Kubota brand it's a really nice unit he said he paid seventy five thousand dollars for it um new which i didn't know those things cost that much but i guess they do it's a it's a pretty good size one and he made another pass and sort of scooped this on down lower and then um he dug a little under the fence back there but i'm actually gonna uh get out here and dig it down some more to see if i can get that to um roll off a little better and then I'll show you the other side he uh, worked on that as well so um, hopefully you know with this work he's done uh, when we get our rain you know of course it's it's here in the middle of spring and it's been beautiful weather you can see the sun is just gorgeous out but you know it's gonna be the rainy season here for the next couple of months two three months at least until June so we're gonna get some big rains and you know have to deal with some issues but so he did some work out here we had a low spot up there and a high spot here and then low and then it got high again here so he really uh you know went ahead and pushed that on off out there um and pushed some of this high spot back over there to the low spot and it's looking pretty good i mean you never can you know quiet tell until you get rain uh just kind of doing do an eyeball but there's a big tree that's down right here and he moved and it was sort of in the way here and he moved it out of the way and then uh, pushed this on off to get this down to the ditch out there at the, at the uh, gravel road. So um, it'll be good to see how that, uh, that works out. But uh, anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to let you go. Again, thanks for all the viewers, all the support, the gifts, people that have bought stuff, uh, people that have helped me with designs. Um, my long-term subscribers from the old garage gang and just everybody that's been been helping I uh, I can't say enough and if I didn't name you by name I, I don't mean to single you out or leave you out um, you know it's um, there's you know 500 700 people that watch every one of my videos on the on this channel and thousands of people that watch on the turbo cobra channel so i'm not trying to make excuses but it is becoming difficult to remember and keep everybody's name straight and if i <laughs> oh if i mess your name up or forget you or think you're from another country that you're not from don't be offended and know that i do appreciate everybody and um so anyway i gotta get out here and get to work um on a few things and um so thanks for all the comments yesterday on the plumbing thing. I've, I've got, a, I think, a pretty good plan for that. So, all right, guys, see you. If you're new to the channel, I appreciate you stopping by. If you're interested in seeing more of what we have going on around here, take a look at the center of the screen and click there to see some of our most recent videos and most recent content. Thank you, guys. Take care.